Who says three self-proclaimed hippies can't create one of the world's most recognized brands out of nothing more than a great idea and the ability to harness their love for the outdoors? Not Skip Yowl. We could see early on we had a, uh, our idea was successful and uh, it was a good idea. Skip, his cousin Murray Platts, and Murray's girlfriend Jan Lewis, who the company was named after, founded Jan Sport in 1967. Forty years later, I still get really excited uh, when I see product on people's backs all over the uh, world. So what advice does this wildly successful entrepreneur have for today's dreamers? Live your dreams. Uh, the opportunities to do what you want in your career and your path, they're there. As Skip tells it, they had no business plan, no special training, even less money, and no store. Just Murray's innovative design, Jan's skill, and Skip's instincts and love of people. Starting in the early 70s, Skip would invite shop owners who sold Jan Sport to learn about the product while experiencing the adventures of Mount Rainier, which as you can imagine was a huge success. A lot of it has to do with the fun that we've had in uh, what we've done those past uh, 40 years. Skip says the trio embraced four guiding principles. We'll succeed because we will work the hardest. We value and appreciate each person. We believe there's more to life than a day's work, and we'll make fun a part of everything we do. Having that positive attitude uh, uh, back then and today, I think, is a real key uh, aspect that I try to uh, live with all the time. Another of Skip's keys to success is patience, which he also learned outdoors climbing great mountains. He recalls an exhausting Mount Everest expedition and having to spend four full days waiting for a plane to fly him out. Well, some people today get uptight when the plane's 30 minutes late, and so you learn patience, you learn a lot of different uh, virtues by these experiences. He says reach for things just beyond your grasp. Whether it's the summit of a mountain, or the summit of your business. And his final thought? Satchel Page said, don't look back because something might be gaining on you. So <laughs> look to the future and have a vision and uh, you know, strive for that uh, vision and live your dreams. For eBags, I'm Kirsten Chapman.